welcome you all once again to Marine Mechanic videos and the topic for the day is double chargers with superchargers. In my last video we have seen that the methods to improve the power output of the engine and we found that we can burn more fuel by supplying more air. So with respect to the marine diesel engine history if we look at it superchargers first came into existence and then the latest turbochargers. So most of you think that the supercharger and the turbocharger are same, but it is not. Superchargers are completely different from the turbochargers. However, their function is supply additional mass of air into the engine to burn more fuel so that the power output of the engine is increased. So when we look at the supercharger, the earlier, let's say 20 or 30 years before Sulzer R&D or RD type of engines had superchargers, whether the drive is taken from the engine crankshaft or camshaft, it depends. So with the help of gear mechanism or a belt driven or pulley, the supercharger gets its drive and then it drives a lobe type compressor or a screw compressor and then that compresses the air and then puts it inside the under piston space. So superchargers are simply the one which takes drive from the engine itself, engine crankshaft or camshaft and then supplies air. Then later came the turbochargers. Since the amount of exhaust gas available from the main engine is enormous, so they want to utilize the exhaust gas energy to supply charged air or scavenged air. So when we look at it, the turbocharger has the exhaust gas entry driving a turbine which I have indicated over here. And the turbine drives and the exhaust gas goes out through this passage. And on the same shaft mounted is a centrifugal compressor where the fresh charged air enters here. With the help of silencers, filters and inducers it comes in and then the air gets compressed thus fed into the engine. So after which you will be having an air cooler and under the valve so that the air is attained back to its ambient temperature. So the turbocharger simply means the one which utilizes the exhaust gas energy and then provides charger or scavenger under pressure. Whereas the supercharger, even now there are supercharged engines like what you have in the automobile industry. Like let's say you have a car and then you open it out, you have a supercharger there. So that's the drive is taken from the engine itself, either pulley or belt driven or the gear driven where it drives a compressor and the compressor supplies charge air for the engine. So that's the basic difference between supercharger and turbocharger. However, both, say, uh, both serves the same function of supplying additional mass of air into the engine so that more fuel can be burnt, thus increasing the power output of the engine. Thank you.